Good afternoon, it's uh, Sunday. I'm here with you today. I, I brought the camera up closer uh, to the painting, the large canvas that I've been making, and it's coming along quite well. Today I added some purple in amongst the canvas. It, it looks like a wilderness painting. Um, I think what's important here to, to, to remember is that uh, when you're dealing with bereavement, uh, it has no time limit or uh, extension uh, of, of, of bereavement. It can last a lifetime. The painting I've uh, placed upon it uh, about a half a cup of, of uh, my mother's ashes and I uh, placed it within the paint and I smudged her ashes in amongst the canvas carefully with my hands uh, uh, gently and seeing what kind of vibration or spiritual end energy that would come as a result it, it after placing and uh, having a, an art exhibit at the Cape Breton University, the beauty of it all here in uh, Sydney, Nova Scotia, uh, there came a conclusion or a letting go and placing to rest that of, of bereavement uh, for my brother, uh, the late Lauren Reed. Um, and I had to it took me many years to to deal with that and to to uh, to make paintings and, and and go on this journey of uh, bereavement and healing and a process of moving forward. Uh, I've now that I've uh, accepted and I, I I believe I have moved beyond that stale point of, of uh, or that uh, level of uh, of bereavement which I feel comforted now to accept and to lie to rest. I'm now placing the same concept on dealing with placing my mother to rest in paint and in bright, colorful beauty. It's a large canvas. And on a Sunday, I, uh, I'm showing it to you. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, thanks for listening. And this has been... Uh, my little topic of the day, bereavement, the extension, and how long bereavement lasts, it's different for everybody. In my case, it's still continuing on, and hopefully I will find comfort, peace, and I will be able to move on from this point to be set free and to relax and to enjoy the remainder of my life. Thank you. Bye for now. And I do appreciate your time.